Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Um, we we're just trying to get- ooh, wood. We gotta sell that before they take it away. I don't know what they do with it. There's another one behind here. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Come on. Move, box, move. Crap, I want that. Anyway. Welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Um, we're gonna finish up the cell so that we can get these prisoners out of the holding cell where they are bound to make some sort of mistake pretty soon and we want to focus on rehab rehabilitation not getting them more charges but the first thing we're gonna do is run a close intake for now because I can't I can't handle more prisoners right now so um, let's go ahead and speed this up now we have eight thousand dollars cash so we need to be very precise about how we do this from now on. Um, sixteen dollars. We should be good. Put that. Put that in there. We don't want. Hmm. And I wonder if we could do that. I wonder if that'll work. Let's let's do that before we before we finish that bottom row. Um, where the toilets, object, toilets. Boop 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 boop. And then we'll need a bed in here. Actually, maybe I should make it bunk beds. Want to make it bunk beds? Let's make it bunk beds. I was gonna do uh, one prisoner, but uh, I'm kind of liking this this two bunk bed idea. Um, and then we'll put in a TV, TV right here. Uh, I guess like so. Everybody get the TV. Wait a minute. Wasn't I just weren't I just talking about like being very uh Alright, let's just get these bunk beds in before I spend all my money. Um sure, we'll just do this. That should be enough. Um, I want to sell this. I want to sell. Okay, we got bunk beds in. Let's go ahead and get these cells. Rooms. Cell. Oh, no. Dormitory. Dormitory. Because it has multiple people in it. Dormitory. They need gates on them. But that's fine. We got three dormitories down. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm counting on you here, you know what I mean? And you're just... You're not assisting me. Okay. Objects, jail door is $200, means I can afford one more. So let's put this, because you have the water hookup, don't you? You do. You do. Alright, so the bottom needs to be done. And then those guys are going to slowly be moved out of the holding cell and put into the dormitory over here. A bed. I don't have a bunk bed. Maybe I can buy another one. I'm hurting for cash here, guys. Alright, we need to do another grant. Um, let's pause this real quick. Um, 
cell block A, I'm pretty sure we can get up to 15 people with the uh, dormitory idea. So let's go ahead and do that. And then that should give us the money that we need to get these doors down. And then, um... How am I going to do this? Should I go up? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go up. That's more pipes though. Right? I feel like that's probably more pipes than if I were to just go across. But I don't know what the length is about how far you can go across before the water pressure dies down. <sighs> hmm. No, I'm gonna screw it. I'm gonna just do it this way. Just trying to figure out a way to rig that top one without bringing over. I mean, I guess I could bring over the big pipe and then go down. But I don't know what I'm gonna put here. I probably should have just brought the big pipe over. Um, do I want to do that? I think I probably should. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that. I'm gonna just bring the big pipe over, like up here. And then bring this down. Because what's gonna end up happening, I know, is that I'm going to want to build something up here and I'm going to need to bring that pipe up anyway so I might as well do it now. <sighs> okay. So... We got doors on them now. We got room for people. They're sleeping. Everything's good. Someone's messaging me. This doesn't have a bunk bed in it though, so let's put a bunk bed. Like so. Ooh, he said with the cell. And we're probably disturbing their sleep coming in there, putting in their water, but you know what? You're gonna thank me in the morning when you can poop and pee and shower in peace. All right, so that raises us to 26. Uh, we have two people that are unable to be assigned to cells because they need to go to solitary. Um, everything else is good. So we finally got our, our cells up, you guys. We finally got them up. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a common room. Common room, common room. Common room right here. And then we're gonna put like some stuff in there for them to uh, do. And then we don't have laundry yet, do we? We don't. All right. Let's go ahead and hit play on that. Um, and our finance is done, so let's go ahead and research maintenance. And then um, extra grant so you can get some more money in. I think that's good. Um, I guess the next thing that we should focus on is maybe building a solitary for those two dudes. Keep them, get them out of the holding cell so we can bring in more people. Um, there's a flashing light here. How come you don't have power? It's because you're in a wall, whatever. I don't care. Um, all right, so that's it. Um, that's it for this video. Next time I think we'll probably get, um, how many people do I have now? 28? We'll probably get um, prison maintenance since we're researching maintenance and maybe inmate health and well-being build us, build us a uh, morgue and infirmary just in case. But uh, we finally got there. Everything's, everything's okay. We have lights. We have power, which is the same thing as lights. We have water. 
And we got sleeping spaces for these guys. I think we're good. We're finally off to a good start. 